Everything you do or learn will be imprinted on this disc. Part man, part machine. It may have its origins in science fiction, but human enhancement is already a part of us. In the machines that enable us to hear better, keep our hearts pumping, and move our bodies when we no longer can. The possibilities for human enhancement are endless. But where do we draw the line? When does a human become a robot? And what does it mean for the future of humanity? With a microchip embedded in his brain, Ian Burhat became the first quadriplegic to move his hand through the power of thought. A moment described as science fiction come true, as his brain used a computer to communicate with his muscles. And with it came the beginning of a new bionic era. But what would happen if this technology was to become mainstream outside the medical world? Transhumanism is the belief that the human race can evolve beyond its physical and mental limitations through technology. The ideas existed for decades, but as the science accelerates, the parameters of the human condition could be changed forever. And the idea is becoming more popular. To some degree, we are already a cyborg. Um, you think of like the, the digital tools that you have, your phone, your computer, the applications that you have. Over time, I think we will probably see a closer merger of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. Billionaire Elon Musk is backing a company trying to create a direct link between our brain and our technology. But will such advances lead to tech-based inequality? What would a cyborg future look like if a new group of superhumans emerged who would control them? In the wrong hands, cyborg technology could be exploited by unscrupulous corporations and governments. And as man and machine come closer, perhaps the biggest question for humanity will be who controls who?